Hi, so welcome to Astro Bites for Monday, the 19th of August, 2024. And yes, today is the day of the full moon. And actually the chart I brought up is for this evening. So that will be for early afternoon on the East Coast of America and kind of mid-morning on the Pacific West Coast because I'm going to be talking about the full moon tonight and the energy for the week ahead. And so I thought what I'd concentrate on today is this exact square we've got between Mars and Saturn. So let's let's just have a think about that because Mars is our planet of energy aggression, activity, it can be arguments, it's assertion, it's also the god of war, remember, it's fighting talk, it's in Gemini, so it's most definitely fighting talk. It's still, of course, widely conjunct Jupiter, which means Jupiter is expanding everything that Mars represents. But of course, it's Jupiter that is making the exact square to Saturn. And Mars has already had its square to Saturn, so it's moving off that. But Jupiter is going to be expanding everything that Gemini represents. Gemini can represent a lot of talk, a lot of communication, I think there will be things going on in the news today because it can be social media as well and news channels, anything like that, internet. I think there's going to be news around, which is uh, because we've still got Uranus squaring the full moon, which is coming later. Uh, so we've got, you know, that shocking element that Uranus is bringing in of the unexpected. And as I've said, potentially extreme weather events or extreme Earth events. Jupiter is our planet, however, of luck and opportunity. Some people always turn a negative into a positive. How are you at turning a negative into a positive? Are you able to see an obstacle as a stepping stone. Sometimes we have to really tr sort of train our mind to think, okay, this has happened. So that particular timeline is not going to unfold, but I've still got this timeline and perhaps this one. Let me see what will happen if I go down this timeline. So it's about being flexible. Remember, Gemini is a flexible sign. It's mutable. And it's squaring Saturn in Pisces, and Pisces as well is a mutable sign. Pisces, as I've said before, is like the primordial soup. This is how it all begins. This is the beginnings of how um, the soul grows, how it develops, how the soul is given birth to. This is where our intuition comes from, our psychic abilities and feelings. Saturn, as I've said before, is trying to give form to the formless. And by making this square to Jupiter, it's trying to anchor down Jupiter. Because Jupiter wants to go all over the place. Remember, Jupiter is travel as well. And Jupiter is learning and let's learn this and it's in Gemini so we could learn this and we could do that and we could well gosh there's no limit to what we could do and that's exhausting and Saturn is saying whoa 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 slow down let's let's just take this one step at a time one stepping stone at a time so Pisces, remember, is about spirit. It's about the intuitive side of our psyche. The part of us that can connect to higher frequencies and energies. 
Remember the full moon today is in Aquarius. And Aquarius is also about higher frequencies and about um, that ability to tune into a collective and to recognize that actually we are all part of a greater whole. It helps us to realize that however much we might sometimes feel alone or lonely, actually, we're not. If we go within, if we really, 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 really go deeply within, what we can actually discover, or actually you could say rediscover, because I think as babies, we have this ability to connect with that soul part of ourselves and we still know everything during that first month or so of life, then we forget it. We get amnesia about who and how glorious we are. So the word that I chose for today is acceptance because there's something about this energy with the full moon that if something that you value leaves your life at this time, it's about being able to work towards the acceptance of that, the having the faith and the trust that the divine knows what it's doing. Acceptance, I think, is one of the biggest lessons we ever have to really, really kind of learn. I think it's a super difficult lesson to learn. I can remember in my teens moaning to my mother, my poor mother, I don't know how she put up with me. Oh, why hasn't so-and-so called? Maybe he doesn't love me. Maybe he doesn't like me. Is he going to ask me out? I don't know. And a little, 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 and all of that stuff. And she'd just say to me, but Penny, you've got to accept that that might not happen. But I don't want to accept that it won't happen. I want what I want. And of course, that is a very useful and teenage kind of way of being, you know, where we want what we want. But we don't always get what we want. Sometimes we get what we need, but that may not be what we want. <laughs> so I'm sure all of you have learned many lessons about acceptance over the years. And I just thought I would highlight it because of this full moon and because there may be certain things that this full moon takes away. Um, so, you know, really, that's, that's all I've got to say today for today's Astro Bite. We have to learn to accept. But that's okay, because you know what? There's always something else around the corner. Always. And on that note, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. And remember to join me on my YouTube channel tonight for the live, for the live stream for the week ahead and I'll be looking at the full moon in Aquarius. If you go to my channel and go under the heading live, uh, you'll see the notification and you all you do is click on notification buttons and then you'll get alerted in the time zone that you're living in as to when it is for anyone in Europe, it's Central European Daylight Time and it's at six o'clock in the evening. So there we go. So that's, have a lovely Monday, enjoy the full moon energy. Let's just kind of sit tight and see what happens. You know what? It'll all be fine. Another 28 days will go and we'll be in the next full moon. So that's how it rock and rolls. All right, my loves, you're all awesome. And I love you all very, very much. Thank you, my loves. And I look forward to seeing you later. And if not later, tomorrow in another Astrobite. Okay, see you later. Bye for now.